This is part 5. Caroline Moate, the last part. Teardrops and closed caskets. So, Dandora Community Justice Center. The people that Caroline Moate was trying to voice what they were doing through her retweets and things. They did a gra- graffiti on her. And they put that graffiti next to Sankara. Uh, Sankara is another great leader, right? Caroline worked as a researcher at the community center until her death. And that's why the community honored her. And they actually held a tribute for her on her behalf. The community center said in a statement, Your legacy remains a legacy of fighting against extrajudicial killings, even though she would fear for her own life. She was a voice of reason. Because she even asked, a thousand people being arrested coming to Makadara locals every week. Shouldn't that alarm her? The community could attest to her efforts. And that is why they called her Mjijesi. And somebody else from Haki Africa, right? The executive director is Hassan Khalid. And this is what Hussein Khalid, sorry, said. The work of Caroline Mwata must live on. Her death should not define her life. We are all sinners. And we have all done bad things. One mistake should not define your life. Of how people view you. Because people had mistakes. Martin Luther, Mohandas Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, all of them had mistakes, even Abraham Lincoln, even George Washington. One mistake should not define your life, especially when perhaps you, you followed an ideology of stupidity, feminism, right? And perhaps when you do not know the other arguments against this kind of attitude. Perhaps when the pressure was too much on you and you don't know what kind of pressure you also don't know what it was in your heart if perhaps you regretted that and you regretted as you were doing but you felt you had no choice in life we always have a choice so we'll account for things that we say we do not have a choice but only one person will decide what will happen to you and that person will look inside your heart where we cannot see where we cannot go So yes, your life should live on, your death should not define your life. So the husband says, I cannot comment on the report, because the report says that so many things. She was cheating, she may have had a child by another person, she may have wanted to abort that that child, and now she may have died. What can you say as a husband? To the men. There are a lot of problems that are going on. I know them. I will speak about them in future. Joshua says that he has no choice but to accept the result. And sometimes you have no choice but to take life as it comes. Because what else can you do? Remember, a father of two. The only thing that he could say at that time was that he is making arrangements for her funeral. And those, her funeral will happen on February 23rd in Siaya, a place called Assembo Bay. The family wants the body of Caroline, the family of uh, <clears throat> Joshu, they want the body of Caroline and the body of the fetus to be preserved. Even though the fetus does not have a limb, even though the fetus has brain damage, the family actually views it as a person. And they want the bodies carried in separate caskets to give dignity to each person, even to the person that killed the other person, purposefully and so violently. And in the course of doing that, their life was also taken. The life of that person was also taken. And I'll just leave something with you. In everything you do, Remember your last day and you will never sin. 
That is from Sirach 736. Rest in peace, Caroline Moata, and to her unborn child. Life goes on. Only God can judge. We can only speak. Thank you to all my 1,070 uh, 1, subscribers. Please subscribe and share these videos. Do not hide a light where there is darkness. Pray for me that I may not flee for fear of the wolves.